Hello, my name is Sarah Wood. I'm a principal statistician and I hold a master's degree in population studies. I'm going to give you an overview about the session of the census questionnaire that deals with the social demographic characteristics. The session seeks to elicit information on characteristics of the population, such as age, sex, nationality, ethnicity, and place of birth. It will also cover people's reason for moving to their current place of residence, their place of residence five years ago, their religious affiliation, and marital status. These are generally referred to as social demographic characteristics. These questions are to be administered to individual members of the household and are restricted to usual members and visitors who spend the census night with the household. Information on social demographic characteristics of population in the country is very important for evidence-based decision making, especially for policy and programs. These characteristics also influence population dynamics such as fertility, mortality, and migration, which subsequently affects population growth and socioeconomic development. In particular, responses to questions on age and sex tells us whether someone is eligible to answer certain questions in their questionnaire. This is because the choice of respondents to answer questions on education, literacy, economic activity, and fertility, among others, is based on certain age threshold and sex. It is therefore important that information on this variable is recorded accurately. For example, age must be recorded in completed years, thus age as at last birthday with reference to the census nights. Ages of children less than one year must be recorded as zero zero. It should, however, be noted that age recalling is generally poor in the country. Many people, especially the older folks, have no accurate knowledge of their ages or those of their relatives. Therefore, enumerators must thoughtfully and patiently elicit information of respondents' age, lest it leads to distortion of key indicators. Questions on nationality will be asked to determine the population who are Ghanaians by birth, by naturalization, and those with dual nationality, as well as other nationals. Questions such as place of birth, duration of stay, usual place of residence five years ago, and reason for moving to the current place of residence, will be asked to ascertain the migration pattern of the population in the country. Note that place of birth for the census is the usual place of residence of the mother at the time of birth. The questions will specifically help to identify people who have never moved out of their place of birth as well as migrants and returned migrants. These questions on migration will help us learn where people are moving to and from, both within and outside Ghana. For instance, are the people moving from the rural areas to the urban areas or vice versa, or from different countries? It will also help us identify the category of population who are involved in this movement. The census will also collect information about people's religious affiliation. People's behavior is influenced greatly by their religious beliefs and practices. It is therefore important that religious affiliation of the population is known to guide policy formulation across the country. The question on religion seeks to find out about the religious denomination the individuals identify with. The question must be asked of each person in the household. It is important not to assume one's religious affiliation based on just his or her name. Marital status is also a very important demographic indicator because of its impact on fertility. The question is to be asked of individuals who are 12 years and older. Data collected from this question will help us to estimate the average age at marriage. The average age of marriage in Ghana, as in many countries, is 18 years. A lower age of marriage for both boys and girls is likely to affect the socio-economic development of the country. It will have a negative impact on educational attainment, which will lead to high fertility, high childhood mortality, 
high maternal mortality and a lower economic participation in general. Besides, the question of marital status will help us to know the types of marriages that have been contracted by individuals. For example, whether they were civil or ordinance marriages, customary mar marriages or other kinds. The responses to these questions will enable us to achieve our goal of conducting an excellent census which will provide policymakers with better data for better decisions. This ends our brief discussion on social demographic characteristics. Thanks for listening and I hope this information will help you to collect accurate and reliable data that will be used for planning in the next 10 years.